Bulldogs should have an easy one tonight, Dick. How do they keep this team from sneaking up on them, though? Hey, here's my keys for them tonight. First, get the ball inside for the high percentage shot. That'll open up the outside game as well. Secondly, grab the boards, baby. Make it a habit. And finally, don't get away from what got you here on defense. Don't try and do too much defensively. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. West handles the feed. And boy, they just jump out of the gate with a score early. They're sending the message, we're focused, baby. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Combs receives the ball. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Can't get the shot to drop. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. parts of college basketball the student section they're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team you can't forget about them the winning humor and dedication to their teams you can't find this in any other team sport jumps in drops the bucket despite the harm something inside Pump fakes. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. You betcha. West is animated and ready to go. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Inside. Puts it up, looking for contact. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Fed the low block. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Trying to pack it inside. The point guard handles the pass. Inside. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He hacked him. There's a slam. The Bulldogs will step to the line for the first time. Makes the foul shot. Oh, Springer took some punishment setting that pick. Double team now, bad angle. The skip pass is picked off. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. They've got a player spotting up on the three. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little tipsy dude, Doug Carew. Looking for a good shot. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. He launches the bomb. Way off target. The point guard receives the pass. There's a bad pass right to the defender.
They move it into the front court. Fakes a jumper. Up fake. There they come with a double team to stop it. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. They get it out into transition. Mississippi State is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He'll regroup the offense. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We've got a good one going. You think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. Intercepted. On the dribble, gives it up. He keeps the dribble as they reset. He takes the shot off the baseline. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Pass in the paint. Here's a double team. Outside jumper. Off the rim and no good. Both teams looking to get things going here. Well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Gave it up in the paint. And the ball goes out of play. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Oh, he's having fun with the opponents there. He sure is, but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line. The Owls' mental effort has deteriorated. They're going to have to turn things around fast, Brad. They'll work it around the arc. He attempts the three. He shows the sweet touch. There's a double team waiting there. For two, perfectly executed. the perimeter he shoots from the top of the key he misses it looking for a good shot entry pass in the paint looking for the foul they really seem to be letting this one get away Dick yeah there's been a breakdown somewhere they need to talk this one over Brad excellent spacing that's so important to a good offensive set it's even more important to have talented boys up there. Yeah, that helps. What's up the tray? Oh, yes. This is getting ugly. Hey, if you can't check your man, it's up to the coach to recognize that and make an adjustment. Up and inside. Looks at the three. The Bulldogs have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah, really doing a great job packing it in did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass on the dribble gives it up great pressure great double team really explosive picked off 
and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Let's watch the defense down in the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good close position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Double team now, bad angle. Taken away. Leans in. Great play to take that to the basket. There's the fake. Time to pick up the defense here now. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. some contact there was no doubt about that one <laughs> on the dribble gives it up picks off the pass they work it around the perimeter high post flasher is open he tries the three. He gets it to fall. On the outside. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Side. Nice fake. Tries for two. He kept the ball on the floor long enough to set up the screen and get the nice look from the inside. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. The ball goes out of bounds. Well, Dick, it's early, but I tell you, you don't want to be in this kind of spot in an NCAA tournament game in the first half. I tell you what, they're not doing well, Brad. They're not getting good shots at all. They are just jocking up. As soon as they come down, first guy's got an open look. He's letting it fly. Nobody's in rebound in position, and they really are not executing. High post flashes for the ball handler. Jumps into the defender. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Mr. Nestler looks like there'll be an easy two here. That was nice. Now they're working around the perimeter. He looks for three. It's good. Pass it stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Great effort defensively. He says, Thou shalt not enter my lane, baby. Get it out of here. I'm the landlord. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. They've left him completely alone. He nails the bucket. going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charm. Moving it around the perimeter. Tries one from three-point land. Way off target. 
Great play to take that to the basket. Shoots from outside. He gets it to go. For the bucket. Doesn't go. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Kicks it out. Pull-up jumper from way out. Dick, they are on a deadly tear right now outside the yard. Everyone's in on the action tonight, baby. Looking for a good shot. There they come with a double team to stop it. Buried it. Working it around the perimeter with the fake. Gets the rejection. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Perfectly executed. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Looking for contact. They still don't score. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Goes to the line for the first time. Hits the first. And he got them both. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. For two. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. And he'll kick it back outside. There's the trap. There's the pick. There's the roll. Too physical. And he's going to pick up the foul and all. Oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Takes away the pass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. On the top of the circle, nails the tray. Gave it up for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. 
gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. The Bulldogs have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. Daddy's on fire. Looking to move it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Launches away. Gets it to go. Goes up for two. And off the mark. The lane. And there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. There's a double team waiting there. The ball goes out of play. Keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. From way outside. Makes it. Let's take another look. the perimeter picks off the lazy pass up and inside great defensive play anticipating well when you're an anticipator you got a chance to do well a lot of guys they're reactors if you're a reactor you're one step behind the action he gets another one to go this is a shooting clinic my friend bullseye again. Hey, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. He tries the three ball. Off the rim and no good. Picked out of the air. Looking for a good shot. On the outside, he looks for the bomb. Goes. Shot clock is dead. From the top of the key. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. From three-point land, drains the shot. And halftime, the Bulldogs are up by 21. Dick, we've got a good one going so far. Is there a highlight that sticks out at you in the first half? I picked the kind of highlight that only a coach can love, Brad. His team working the ball down low to that big man for the inside basket. Let's get back down to the action where it looks like the two teams are all set to start the second half. Mississippi State is shooting very well from the floor right now, Dick. They're getting good looks, man, and they're not letting them go to waste. That's how you win games, man. Offensive execution. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Erin. 
Gave it up in the paint for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. Fakes the shot. The point guard with the ball. He fires from long range. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. For the bucket. I'll tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. The point guard gets the ball for two. Perfectly executed. Almost lost a basketball. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He unloads a three. Sinks it. The Bulldogs are ahead by 19. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talent to work. And that one's blocked. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Rims out. Tries to get the D to bite. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. They work it around the perimeter. They work it around the arc. He intercepts it. The point guard gets the pass. And a momentary look from three-point land. Looking for a good shot. Lobs it. Tries for two. Up. Easy one. That's seven on answer. Moving it around the perimeter. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. They work it around the perimeter. Jumps in, and he scores despite the hack. fly he gets the bucket hey tell me we got a replay ready for that one Brad the center takes the feed the Bulldogs have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment they need to keep feeding the ball it's simple looking for a good shot Inside. Puts it up looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Takes the pass in the paint. 
And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charm. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. He nails the shot. some room he shoots from the top of the key man he used that screen to perfection he used it to get free baby for the good luck he beats him to the punch defensively what a terrific job footwork really excellent on a post play what a play these kids are fired up now and if you're going to celebrate why not celebrate with a teammate hey hey why not it's a team sport right High post flashes for the opportunity. Picks off the lazy pass. Nick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Arte just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Side. Goes up for two. The Bulldogs have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. We'll take the shot. He drains the bucket. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, helps. Takes away the pass. The center takes the pass. Down he goes and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. Number 32 with the fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Great play to take that to the basket. They'll work it around the arc. He up fakes. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. He throws it up from downtown, makes the shot. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. Steals the pass. He shoots from the baseline. Yes! The Owls are trailing by 18. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lead. Anticipating really well. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries for two. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. while the other team, well, they're just looking for an answer. Can they find it, guys, before it's too late? Thanks, Aaron. And he'll kick it back outside. Gave it up. He's open if he wants the shot. He 
He shoots from outside. Scorches the net. They scored nine in a row. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots from the top of the circle. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. He shoots from the top of the circle. He missed. The lane. The Bulldogs lead by 23. He shoots from the top of the circle. Outside jumper is short. Basket falls despite the contact. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Here's the three ball. He drains the shot. The Bulldogs are up by 24. Great defense. There should be an easy bucket here. Coach looks on, focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. There's the fake. He takes the shot from the baseline. Way off target. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Steals the ball. That's good. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows him to get the crease, the lane, the angle. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. West makes a great move to draw the foul. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. Two at the charity strike. On the dribble, gives it up from beyond the arc. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. They let him get into a rhythm. Working it around the perimeter. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. But inside. Way out on top, controlling the ball. They work it around the perimeter. He strokes it. The Bulldogs have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Drains it.
tipped out of the air. He pump fakes. Looking for a good shot. From the baseline. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Entry pass in the paint. Too much. That's a foul. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. For the deuce. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Moving it around the perimeter. Nice high post screen. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. He makes the shot. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Now they work it around the perimeter. Shoots it. Buried it. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I'll tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal the ball. to take it away. Gets it to fall. Gave it up. Intercepted. On the dribble, gives it up. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. He fouled him. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. They're working around the arc on the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He goes for three. That's good. It doesn't get any better unless you watch it again. Movement, get that good spacing in the paint, leaning in, trying to draw contact. Too much contact there, it knocked him off balance a little. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot will go. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. <laughs> Unloads. Dickie simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Side. Gave it up. Good job defensively. They just don't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. 
unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Takes the pass in the paint. And he scores it off the glass. High post screen. There's the block. Transition opportunity coming up. And a momentary look from three-point land. For two. And he missed. Working it around the perimeter. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Controlling the ball. Up and inside. He shoots from downtown. Nice shot. That one's definitely worth a second look, Brad. Look out. That sends a message to the screener. And the ball goes out of play. If his actions weren't deflating enough, how about this? He's definitely provoking this crowd. Oh, oh Mr. Nussler, that's a no-no. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love it. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. High post screen, gonna use it. For the bucket. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Pushes it. Dick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well, and, you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, I tell you, won this game, Brad, and you look at it and analyze it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestler, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. The Bulldogs graduates to the Sweet 16 now with two big wins in the first round. Let me tell you, the coach has really lit a fire under the bellies of his players. Their opponents better come to play.